Hi, Bookmatic Lifelong Learners. In this video today, we are going to talk about how to read on a daily basis with a really busy schedule. And uh, as you may know, if you are a returning viewer to this channel, uh, I have started my master's program and I made a few videos about how that's going. So it's still going pretty well. Uh, my schedule is very, very, very busy. So I just wanted to create this video for people out there. Uh, if you're new to this channel, you may have also a very, very busy schedule. So how do you find the time to read books? And that's what this video is about today. So uh, stay tuned for all three tips that I have for you. Let's get into it. All right, so the very first tip here is just keep it simple. You know, you may be very, very busy during the day. You have work, you have family, maybe you have side hustle or you running your own business, whatever you're doing, whatever is keeping you busy, you don't have a whole lot of time. So my suggestion is just keep your reading habits simple. For me, uh, before I was this busy with my master's, I was probably reading an average of about an hour or maybe a little bit more per day. But since I've taken on the master's and I've got work as well in my family and bookmatic, a lot of things to take care of. Per day, I probably read about 30 minutes or even a little bit less. So keep it simple, set maybe uh, just 30 minutes per day. If you have that time, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night, you've got 30 minutes right there. And of course, you know, the one of the goals of reading books is not to, you know, have like this outstanding number of books completed per year, or the amount of time that you read or the pages that you read, right? We know that that's not the point of reading, right? So uh, just pick a simple number, 30 minutes, and try to stick to that every single day, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night. And you'll be very surprised on how much you can actually read. Okay, so the second tip that I have here is read what interests you. You know, if you're trying to like copy what other people are reading and you're like, oh, that looks like a you know good read because everyone is reading it. You may get into the book and be like, ah, I don't really don't really like this, you know. So the point here is to try and find something that you really feel is interesting to you and pick up a book related to that topic. Like, for example, I um uh, I just finished up with this book right here, The Lifetime Learning Learner's Guide to Reading and Learning by Gary Hoover. And I personally love books about learning and reading. So yeah, that's why I picked it up. Um, just finished it very recently. And yeah, it was, it was a very enjoyable read. I wanna share another one here that I just started uh today actually while fil uh, before filming this video uh transformation understanding the three levels of masculine consciousness by robert a johnson and actually he mentions that in the very front of the book that this book is also for women as well just because it says masculine doesn't mean that you know women can't read and learn from this so yeah those are just two examples of you know books that interest me personally and uh that's yeah that's why i picked them up that's why i started reading them because just a topic that i really love learning about and applying in my life so that actually heads on to the the third point here is try to have multiple books going on at once that way throughout the day if you decide to pick up a book but if you're reading just one book, maybe that book doesn't really fit with your mood at the time. So if you have multiple books that you're reading at the same time, you can pick from the books that you're reading to match the mood that you have going on. So let me show you a few more books that I have on my list here. The 
that I'm reading or just finished. I just finished this one yesterday. It's uh, What's Your Plan B by Sab Sabasachi Sengupta. So that was kind of cool. And then I'm also reading a parenting book right now. Have a happy Friday. Have a, <laughs> not have a happy Friday. Have a happy family by Friday. And then I'm reading some fiction as well. This one, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. And Game of Thrones, I've been reading through this one for quite some time. Uh, and then we got Leonardo da Vinci by Ice, uh, Walter Isaacson. And then I'm also reading a few eBooks as well. So as you can see from the list of books that I, that I am currently reading, I'm reading such a wide variety of books. And I suggest that you do the same thing. You can read one book for 15 minutes. You can read another book for 15 minutes. And then the next day you can alternate and you can just read the books that you feel interested at the time of, hey, it's time to read for 15 minutes. Which one do I want to pick out of your five books that you're reading, right? It's actually a really good strategy that a lot of people don't do that I believe should do rather than just reading one book at a time. It makes life interesting. It makes your reading life interesting. So I hope you learned quite a lot from the three tips that I have for you today. Start implementing these things, try them, experiment with them. And if you want to change them, yeah, feel free. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like these. Also follow my other social media accounts such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter for more valuable content. Thank you for watching again and I will see you guys next time.